And with evictions possible, the Quincy Salvation Army preparing to take on more homeless. Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. Those stories all on the way, but we begin right there with the last story I just mentioned as layoffs and furloughs add up. The Salvation Army is gearing up to meet that need and they worry the worst may be yet to come. WGEM's Charity Bell is live in Quincy with details. Charity. Dylan here at the fam Dylan here at the Salvation Army Family Service Center. They're always ready to help and they're expecting more people will need that help soon. The Salvation Army's Katie Henderson says people who haven't needed their services before now need help. It hasn't been a huge jump. Um, there's been different faces, I would say. So people who were coming to the breadline every day just because it's there, they're only coming maybe when they absolutely have to. Staff at the Salvation Army in Quincy say the demand for help has remained continuous, but the way they're meeting the need has changed. Just trying to provide support over the phone and accessing each other's email. Um, that's that's new, you know, generally processing paperwork here. We got lots of paperwork to apply for different assistance programs. So it's just trying to be creative. Heidi Welty with the Salvation Army suspects there isn't a spike in shelter numbers because people are obeying the stay at home order and can't be evicted, but wonders what will happen once those orders are lifted. And maybe it is their circumstance. It could be because people are furloughed or um, having unique circumstances right now. Money is tight. Um, and definitely, you know, there's always that concern what's coming down the road. Henderson says they're relying heavily on donations from the community to help those in need. And on top of a pandemic like this, like there's a lot of people in this situation who don't know what services are available. Um, so when that need increases, we have to have that available to give to our community. The Salvation Army says they need personal care items and cleaning supplies. They say those donations can be dropped off at 501 and Broadway, 501 Broadway in Quincy. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGEM News.